and I'm the sixth man again. And then I gotta upgrade my player. And I tried, I want to put him as a handband. But I can't put him as a handband. I've been trying to do my best all day. And somebody's wrong to control. And then. And I should go back to my shoes. Okay, so I should, uh... I'm not still- I don't want to wear KD because it's a bad idea. So what I'm gonna use is... This one. And see, I think it. And hello guys and welcome to Dude right here because I'm the sixth man again. He kicks it to Fareed. Rebound by Lee. Looking at Denver, they want to turn it around after the loss to the Clippers in Los Angeles. And you don't need to dig too deep into the box score to figure out why they lost the game. I mean, their shooting percentage was a business. You know, sometimes we talk about the defense getting into the heads of the opposing players, but it seems that night they got in their own heads, couldn't get out of their own way as they lost confidence at the offensive end. Austin kicks to Hickson. Back to Austin. No, I didn't. It didn't look. Got his second bucket of the night. You know, they've scored several times already here in the first quarter down low. I like that. Yeah, me too, Clark. I think anytime you have success pounding the ball inside, you've got to continue to go to the well. Yeah, the referee's all over that one. There's no doubt about it. Clearly a foul. Nothing to argue about there. Not so long ago, this Golden State Warriors franchise was in disarray, and boy, what a reversal it's been over the last few seasons. Excellent chemistry. It seems they have a real culture that players want to be a part of. Hickson, and you can count it, he'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. He's a grinder. Love what he does under the offensive boards, really bringing energy and life to his team. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Well, not the best statistic for him. Splash. His performance at the line, of course, very low number. And I don't think there's any question about it, guys. He's got to bring that percentage up. I mean, those are the kind of free throw numbers that will get you in a coach's doghouse and get your teammates a little mad at you. Chandler. On the wing of Quello. Pass to Watson. Just four to shoot. Come on. Cannot hit. So Golden State yes. will take it the other way. That's game against the Nuggets. They lost in the Mile High City. Yeah, they didn't play well that night. They weren't very aggressive. Uh, they shot the ball too often from the perimeter. Never got it inside. And they were also very shaky from the foul line. Good day here. Here's Chandler. And he gets it to go. He got a great read of where that miss was going. And that allowed him to be the first guy to it and get the putback. There's really no excuse. I don't know how many times we've seen it, especially when Clark it's time for the playoffs and winners usually make their free throws. It's elementary, Watson. Make your free throws when you get them. Everyone needs to take their time, get into their routine, and fundamentally execute the free throw shot. It's, it's Kevin, not Watson. Okay, well, right, Kevin yeah. Watson. Right, Kevin. Hey, I like that. Okay. <laughs> Aquilo dishes to Chandler. He passes to Lawson. Kick out to Aquilo on the arc. That is a man. Lawson with the assist. Aquilo's got five points so far. Both teams on fire right from the opening tip. Pedal to the throttle, Steve, just like we like it. These guys know each other well, clearly, because that was a beautiful pass. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Hey, Kevin, thanks. Golden State's head coach and I were able to chat. I asked him what players he was really eyeing on the scouting report, and he said one that might surprise you, Kenneth Fareed. He said he plays with so much energy and effort. He really sets the bar for the rest of the team. If we can limit his impact on the game, I think it'll really be to our advantage. Guys, an interesting take. We'll see if they can slow his role. Thanks, Doris. Well, they'll give him that shot. He doesn't have the most reliable jump shot in the world. We know that. Aquilo goes in and count it. Two points with a chance for one more at the free throw line. Boy, they are just destroying them in the paint. With one game to go, let's take a look at how the final season will look out west. We'll take a look at the Warriors. Let's
as they completely melt down, they should be in good position for a playoff run. And checking out Denver. Not really any threat right now is their record showing a lot more losses. When I look at Denver, you know, it has not been the kind of season they had mapped out for themselves. Their sights were definitely set a little higher than what they achieved. Well, it's not been a, a total disaster, Clark. They're still perched in a spot where they can make a move, but they're going to have to do so pretty quickly. And now, let's check out the lineup for Little of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. So for the Golden State Warriors right now, Mr. Incredible, he's in at the point. Three at the four with Lee at the five. Steph Curry's out there with Clay Thompson. Oh. Active hands on the steal, active feet on the fast break. And Clark Power on the dunk. Hey guys, this is just too close of a game to be giving the ball up like that and then failing to get back in transition. Lawson outside. Close one, and it's good on the layup. Lawson's got nine points. That is an elegant move to drop in the floater there, guys. Ty Lawson, the former 18th overall pick back in 2009. Super quick, athletic point guard. He looks to push the pace. He's been the perfect pick in the Nuggets up-tempo offense. J.J. Hickson, he's checked in for the Nuggets. Lalo comes in for Nate Robinson. And that'll be Denver as it goes out of bounds. Nuggets retain possession. Nixon with the ball. He has seven. Lawson fires. Lee gets the rebound. And that's a tough one there because he's wide open. That's a shot he expects to make. No good for Mr. Green. This game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding is one thing that they've been able to, to dominate. Yeah, they chased down that pumpkin off. Well, you knew he'd win that race. That's it. I mean, that's what you call early offense. Thompson passes to Mr. Incredible. Hands on the trifecta. Mr. Incredible's got 18 points. Oh. His shooting has been so good today, and he may have to take it upon himself to try to get his club out of this hole. Right here. Three on three break. And he takes a fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. The first net one called out of that was nice, real nice. The agility on this court. Yeah, you love that body control. Oh, that one had it all, guys. Power and grace. Just beautiful. The follow kicks to Lawson. No good on the triple. Even though he isn't having the best of games from the floor, it hasn't seemed to hurt him. Well, as you know, there are polls for just about everything in sports. Last year, Steph Curry was actually voted as the most trustworthy player in the league. When you talk about trust in Steph Curry, it, it seemed he was able to trust his ankles a bit more last year. Yeah, that has been a big concern, repeated ankle strains. Part of the reason the Warriors were able to sign him for such a large an extension, but when healthy, clearly an all-star and all-league player. Robinson for three, and he gets it to go. Robinson's got 10. That's like a layup for him. He's just wide open out there. From the no, no, I didn't mean no. Shot no good, a bit short. Mm. You know, he's I so didn't confident. mean it. To a fault, and that showed right there. That's a bad shot. Exactly. I mean, that's self didn't mean that. Damage right there. They're a lot better options than what he took. Uh, the shot's good from Lawson. And he's shaking off a poor first quarter shooting effort. He's really starting to turn it on now, guys. And there's the pump. He's got no pump. Here's Fareed. Last time out, he had 14 points. The beat to Lawson. Reed a screen on Kirk. The shot's good from Lawson. He's making it look easy scoring out there because he's much more efficient here in the second. In low to Bogan. Golden State moving it around. Back to Lee. And again, unable to change momentum here. Guys, uh, they've been getting it done. They sure have been. I mean, really looking good and sharp offensively. Knocking down the open shots and really getting a nice flow to their game. Warriors trail by six. 
Puts it up from 15. The shot's good for Mr. Incredible. Mr. Incredible's got 22 points. It's got one of those shooting strokes that never changes, guys. I mean, even if it depends on him. What? Oh. They know him. Great quality to have as a shooter. I'll tell you what else I like. It's his attacking mindset, too, Steve. No matter where he is on the court, when he gets possession, he will turn it up and turn it on and run out. Most of the time, he doesn't stop until he's laid the ball in the hoop. Aaron O'Quala, who's checked in for Denver. No good from Lawson. That's a shot he's got to hit. I mean, you don't get too many better looks from that range. Here's Mr. Incredible. Up and in on the wall. You know, he's putting on an outstanding offensive display, and he may just be getting warmed up here. And Lawson with the drive. It's Chandler High Post. Back to Lawson. With nobody on him, he buries the jumper. Lawson's got 16 points. The easiest way to do it sometimes is with the bounce pass. And Bree comes to help. True. He's guarded by a follow. Checks up a three. Another three for Golden State. Talk about doing a rip and week on defense. Come on, guys, wake up. Why are they leaving him open at the three-point line? Out of bounds, Golden State takes possession. Boy, just a brain cramp, guys. I mean, that should have been the simplest of exchanges. J.J. Hickson, he's checked in for Tyson Chandler. Passes it to Mr. Incredible. Plays it in without an inch of room around him. Mr. Incredible's got 26. This switch has definitely been flipped to on this quarter, guys. Apollo goes in. Steph Curry with the rebound. Golden State's gone three of five beyond the arc since the start of the second quarter. Chandler comes with the double team. From downtown, Curry can't get it to go. Boy, with an open look like that, he is so gifted. Man, you've got to play better defense. Eventually, he's going to make you pay. You got that right. I mean, he'll do it from three-point land or anywhere on the perimeter, really, because he is a deadly shooter. You've got to do a better job defensively. Okay, well, let's check in with Doris Burke reporting from our sideline in this game. Doris, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Mr. Incredible in their last matchup against the Grizzlies ended up having a lot of trouble. He had six points. He shot a very low percentage from the field, uncharacteristically low. We'll be curious to see how he responds here in this one, guys. Thank you, Doris. And just not the game he hoped to have, guys. It sure wasn't. And you know that to be a winner in basketball or the game of life, it takes experiences like that to cause you to use it as fuel to bring it that much harder to the next time. Sometimes you go through that adversity and disappointment. We'll see what he does here. Well said. Yeah, and the key is I think you have to have the right approach and the right attitude. You have to use the experience, but you have to let go of the emotion. And as long as he's motivated and excited to be out here, uh, he can figure out what to do next and kind of take that next step forward. The Nuggets have made seven out of nine when they've stepped to the line. Yeah, they've just been an ordinary team in terms of free throw shooting this year, guys. About seven. Hi, guys. We are back. So because this is, I'm not talking a lot. We've gone about three and a half minutes. I don't want to talk. There you go. Love okay, so here we're going to go. So I am off. That's always a winning play. Absolutely. Now, coaches love to so. see the hustle, but the fans love to see the dunk. So out there for the Nuggets right now. Austin is part of the Apollo. They're the back. Chandler and Fareed are at the forward spots. And it's Chandler, and it's the five down low. We don't know why they keep saying that to me in the bench. The I am like being it's terrible. And great instincts, too. I mean, just anticipating where the ball is heading. Uh, great job there, beating everybody else to the ball. Well, you talk about effort and energy being a skill. Some people talk about those Leon, things. Why you keep scoring? Because I always get frustrated in my mind. A 6'7 power forward, his athleticism and relentless motor allow him to play much bigger than that. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Can't hear now for a three-point play. That is on Ty Lawson. A different look for Denver. Harrison Barnes, he's checked.
check in for Draymond Green. And Steph Curry is subbed in for Clay Thompson. Double by Lee. Robinson for three. Watson for three. It's rebounded by Golden State. Lee's got four rebounds in this game. Come on, score that three. And again, it's the Warriors missing. This has not at all been the kind of performance they've needed out of that. Chandler dishes to Watson. Robinson. It's good, and Watson picking up the assist. And 12 points for Nick Robinson. Man, defense. Warriors trail by seven. Curry passes to Mr. Incredible. No good. And it's Denver the other way. They've led by as many as 11 points. Robinson kicks to Watson. Hands it from downtown. And the Nuggets lead gone. by 10. This is incredible. It's been a three-point barrage since halftime. Yeah, whether by design or by accident, it has been impressive. The shot's good from Mr. Incredible. I'll tell you what, he's had an excellent game, and they're going to have to continue to rely on him if they're going to come back. And here's Watson. Chandler outside. Feeds to Watson. From deep. They get the rebound. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Andrew Bogut. That'll be his second foul of the game. I like the call. I thought the defense was moving there. Yeah, I think he slid underneath. Good blocking call that trip. Here's what Denver's going with right now. Dixon comes in for Chen. And it's going on it. And for Kenneth Faree. Robinson dishes to Watson. Uncovered. And hit. Things have kind of gone south for him here in the quarter. Here's Mr. Incredible. And another three for Golden State. Splash. He up where he left off in the first. The Nuggets lead by four. Here is Watson. For the three. <laughs> And it's Spates with the rebound. Spates has got his third rebound on the ninth. He's been anything but his usual self this quarter. It's actually been ugly to see. Denver's gone three of seven from three-point range here in quarter number three. Watson, the pass to Apollo. He dishes it to Dixon. That's good. Another pass put right into the shooter's pocket, right in the shooting pocket for a terrific assist. They've done a lot of that today. Yeah, it's something we haven't seen much of at the other end of the floor, though. The shots do for Mr. Incredible. The points just keep coming for him this quarter. And just at the right time, too, as they try to narrow the deficit. High post try. The putback, and Hickson throws it down. And the Nuggets lead by six. Well, coaches love him because of the hustle he's continually showing out on the floor. And, and I think where you really see it most is on the offensive board. And I'll tell you one more thing about him, Steve. He sets a screen maybe better than anybody. And if he rolls off of it, he gets the ball and gets a clean look. It's automatic. Robinson kicks to Gallinari. Six on the shot clock. Well, that gets me to get a shot off here. Curry with the steal. All alone. The post dunk. Yeah, he didn't even bother to wait around for any help on that bridge. That was a one-man job all the way, Steve. He knew what to do with it and win. Robinson dishes to Watson. The pass to Hickson. That's good, and the assist goes to Watson. Hickson's got six in the quarter. They haven't been as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. They're playing smart with the lead. I like that. They're being very selective and deliberate in their offense. That's a good strategy when you're on top. Now look at the hottest teams in the league. These squads are... And I don't know why. I, I, I am on fire. Why do you guys got to send me to the worst score? I try to do my best. Wow. I, six minutes. Terrible. This is when we put the hammer down. It doesn't look like he's ready to back off just yet, guys. He is Lee and Bogut inside. Clay Thompson and Brandon Rush at the two and three, and it's Mr. Incredible and at the one. So that's the group out there for Golden State. 
What? Oh my God. Can't miss for him. What? Man, why do I always miss? Wow. He feeds it to Lawson. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone right now. And he gets it to go. Lawson's got 29. That's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle much more effective. Yeah, and until they do, the problems inside are only going to get worse. Poked away. And it's the Warriors on the break. Rips down the break. Oh! I don't care we're losing because I'm, I'm trying to get a career. Yeah, beautiful transition play after the steal all the way to the basket. Wasted no time going from defense to offense. Well, it feels like they're starting to pick up the intensity as the game itself starts to get a little more tight and close. Well, that was not a smart play there. That's a wild shot. They can get something better. No, that's not smart basketball. He should have passed that shot up. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Talk about some great numbers for Mr. Incredible. He got 41 points and just an amazing performance from downtown. Uh, he is leaning down the threes, guys. You know how much I love to see this. And he can't get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time. Steve Kenneth for Reed really raised in the game there. There's so many great stories. Okay, Gus, guys, scored three, scored three. By his family in so many ways on the basketball. Yeah, the story goes that his father once dunked on him and said never let anybody do that on you again. Uh, and apparently his things. mother told him they'd, they'd never pass him the ball unless he was tough enough to go get the rebound. So, uh, tough love, but apparently it worked. Here's Mr. Incredible. It's his fourth foul, and I'm sure he picked it up a little earlier than he would have liked. And well, let's take a moment, guys, to get your take on the scoring so far for the night. These long-range shots look like layups out there, guys. They've worked hard tonight at crashing the boards as well. They've had a bunch of second-chance points. With all the chances he's been getting, it's got to be frustrating that his struggles continue at the line. And the Nuggets making a change here. Robinson's checked in. On the top of the key, it's rebounded by Golden State. Okay, come on. Score three. Score three. Oh, do you see that? Oh. Defender, guard the ball. Guard the ball. Splash again! Okay, score three. Score three. Robinson goes in. Back to Chandler. Fires the three. The Warriors pull it in. Score three or two. To score two. Okay, so this video ends like 25 minutes. Okay, here we go. Come on. Oh, what? One more. Clark, you gotta marvel at the transition game when they've got it clicking, it's really explosive. And I 
gap change for sure. Ooh, and turning defensive pressure into offensive opportunities. That's what it's all about. Now, as far as the defense goes, well, that is not what's going to keep them in this league. So guys, I guess thank you for watching. We will continue the fourth quarter. See you next time.